And here we are, day one of the second New Zealand Rugby League Secondary Schools. Southern Cross Campus going through their last little routine before kickoff. They're set to take on St. Thomas of Canterbury. Southern Cross Campus of, oh, the last time this was played, 2018, Kelston, obviously the reigning champions, but uh, St. Thomas, uh, oh, Southern Cross, sorry, have had some uh, great success in the past. Over those last couple of years before, obviously, COVID was here, uh, they won a couple of titles, so looks set out to do the same again, taking on St. Thomas of Canterbury, who said to have their last little chat, warmed up for a while, and come all the way up from Canterbury, take these boys on. Powerful from the lads from St. Thomas. As we see, Southern Cross Campus will receive the kick to start this game. Both teams looking for successful tournaments and uh, it's a great match up here. St. Thomas of Canterbury, as I spoke to a lot of people around here, think that they can really give this competition a shake and be very, very, very strong test straight up against uh, the boys from Southern Cross. Blow underway. So good to see Rio Rugby League back. Secondary schools, the young talent, set to show what they can do to make it on that higher level. Big contact straight up. Southern Cross, deep in their end. I don't know if you guys can hear the contact, but that's two hits so far. Very strong. Take the weakness of the short side. Nice little turn under play. Seven's really directing play here. Oh, 
Good first set by Southern Cross Campus. They get the kick away. Inside their 40. Inside their 40. Oh, close to a 40-20. Unlucky. Good first set. Fine touch. Get to the scrum. I'll play the ball. We have these rules in secondary schools now. It's not just the big time. St. Thomas of Canterbury's first chance with the ball. We'll see what they can do with it. Both teams attacking short sides early. Really counting numbers. So we see the first penalty of the first penalty of the afternoon. Southern Cross Campus penalised laying down too long. Nice little 10 yard, 10 metre touch finder. They have a chance to really attack the line this set. They get this set going. Gets to the middle of the field with play one. Big boys are lining up in the middle. Back on? No. Nah. Oh, but am I back on here? Yeah. So you can hear me? Get to the end of their set. Great kick, great chase. Just a bit of lack of communication by the Southern Cross campus boys, but they come away with it. Good first set, good start to the game by, say, Thomas of Canterbury. Really asking Southern Cross some tough carries, so you've got to bring it up off their own end. One out stuff. Plenty of chatter in the St. Thomas of Canterbury defence. Once again, attacking these short sides. Both, se both teams seem to like this approach to the game. Great carry. That's how you get them on the front foot. Good kick away here. They'll be looking for Southern Cross. But once again, St. Thomas really muscle up in defence and get the ball. Tackle one. Tackle one on halfway almost. St. Thomas really have another great chance. Start this game, start with attacking set on the line if they can muster down there. Big carry. And looking to set up out wide here. They take it to the short side. Second phase play with the offload. Oh, started the set. Now another line break from the one. They've got a back line set out here, St. Thomas. They've already stripped. Southern Cross once, looking to do so again. Settle down. It's a carry. The six looking on the short side. Take it long. Out of numbers. Oh, the little dummy. Do they go short side again? The six is coming around. Kick for himself and once again, Southern Cross holds St. Thomas out and they're asked to do that tough job of running it out once again. Some one out running, but they're these tough carries these boys have got to do. Oh, the one hand pickup. Confident. Great carry, too. Out to their 20 on two. Tough start to the game. Southern Cross campus, but I'll tell you what, they're in for the fight. Good defense, and now they're bringing it out tough. Another big carry out to their 50. This is their best set yet. Fifth tackle. Charge down, play on. Once again, St. Thomas really muscle up in defence. I've said it to start this game three times, but it's what these boys have been doing. Making Southern Cross campus kick out of their own end and they get another attacking set right on their line. It will be in their own half. So second phase play. Oh, they've got them on the right here. Will they look to go there or are they coming back this left side? 
another penalty. It's two to start the game. A flop was the laying down in the tackle is what the referee has signalled. What decision here? We know it's only 25 minutes a half. Do we take the early points or do we let the roll on? It looks like the boys are rolling on, confident in their attack. They've had a lot of ball to start this game in good field position. Let's see the seven and six really combine here and organise some play. I like the one getting involved. Really looking dangerous. I think he's made two line breaks already. Carry. I asked for some shapes, some plays to get the number one involved. And by the sounds of it, Norman has just asked for the ball. He said, boys, don't worry about these shapes. Give it to me. I'll barge over. Great footwork to start the set. Looked like he wasn't even trying to set up for the middle. He was just really confident in his ability to score a try there. Ten metres out, it looks like he's hard to stop and makes it an easier kick for the half too. St. St. Thomas of Canterbury, very impressive start. As they make 4-6, Southern, Southern Cross Campus has struggled to get out of their own half to start this game, and St. Thomas' defence is the reason. They've come here for a mission from Canterbury, and uh, they started this game exceptional. Their attack, they've been, they've been pretty good. The halves have been communicating, and... As we saw there, just took one hit up straight over. I think it's the Southern Cross Campus boys' turn here to really muscle up off this kick and try and get the ball and wrestle back momentum of this game. We do know only 25 minutes a half, so every score here counts. Look very dangerous, the ball in hand so far, the fullback. What does St. Thomas do here? This is the furthest they've been back in their half to bring the ball out. Finds his front. Good carry. A lot of shape around the ball carrier. Another great set. St. Thomas at Canterbury really rolling down the field here. Right down the middle. Turning the ball under. Bringing their players back through the middle. And, ooh. Oh, yes. I thought so. I thought he was. Got Just got down just a bit too late. And that's the third penalty for St. Thomas of Canterbury. Discipline's really costing Southern Cross campus here. Because once again, they're going to have to defend on their own line. And St. Thomas have already got one try. You got me there? Yep. They're lined out to the right. Is it just going to be a simple... Yeah, it's straight through the middle again with the carry. Got the six and the one out to the right. Looks like they're setting something up. Out the back play. Short lead. Once again, great play. Quick play the ball. Nine goes from dummy half. He gets there. And he's down. The referee sees it. Referees awarded a try. St. Thomas of Canterbury. Like I said at the start, I've been told by many that this team is a, a team to watch in this tournament and they're stamping their authority early. Not only with their defense, but two tries from attack. Um, they've got the shape and it's just been hard running that's getting them over the line. 10 nil, St. Thomas of Canterbury. Thank you. 
Misconversion, as we saw. Score still 10 0. Our Southern Cross campers, they haven't really had much to do with the ball. They haven't been out of their own half, but that's for the lack of discipline. And um, I, th I think they've really just had a chat behind the try line. And this is the set where they've got to turn it. We do know there's only 25 minutes a half. It's knockout footing. Change sides for the kickoff. Not overly deep kick. So once again, St. Thomas will start the ball. Big carry. 30 metres. Oh, that was a good 15, 20 metre carry. Southern Cross, who's going to stand up and put them back? Make this big hit. Make a defining play. Really get their side back on. As we see St. Thomas rolling it down. Once again to this left, with turn under play. These boys are going back to the middle. Big contact. Very crafty. Number nine has been exceptional out of there so far. Looks like he's steering the play a bit. We're bringing the big boys through the middle. Once again, another carry. Straight at the teeth of them. They set up for play five. They've been down here three times, come away with two tries. To the fifth tackle again. Well, the wind seems to have taken that a bit. Great take. And that's how you get the boys back up. Southern Cross Campus. Great take from the winger. Now, who's going to put their hand up, get the boys down there? A couple of strong carries. The wingers come in for some work. As the outside backs the centers. Great carry finds his front. As they go again. Pretty simple set, getting the big boys rested. And there it is. They needed that. Great carries from the outside backs from Southern Cross Campus. This, this could turn the game here. This could get them back, the momentum back. First attacking set out of their half. See what they can put together here. All their time together, schoolmates, and how each other plays. Fine touch, 30 metres out. Really see, like to see how they set this up. As they settle it near the near post. Another strong carry, they're going for the big boys. They saw how St. Thomas did it straight up the middle. Southern Cross are trying to do the same. They are set up to the left. Back to the right. Too big, too strong, is he? Yes. They said to St. Thomas, whatever you boys can do, we can do better. Their first attempt with the ball in St. Thomas's half. They've come away with a try. That must give them a lot of confidence. A lot of confidence. Scores 10-4 with the kick to come. Those just joining, obviously, St. Thomas, great start to the match. Didn't let Southern Cross out of their own half for the first 10, 10 minutes of the game. Couple penalties and a couple of tries. Uh, St. Thomas, two big hit-ups, got them some two early tries. But as we're seeing now, Southern Cross, kick to come. Uh, their, first, their first attempt with the ball inside St. Thomas's half, and they've, they've come away with four points. Music's pumping. The Southern Cross Campus girls are up next and they're gone just uh, dancing across the field, getting ready to cheer their team on. Yeah, we can hear them. 10-6. Just like that, it's a four-point ball game. 
St. Thomas really dominating the first 10 to 15 minutes. Southern Cross with their first penalty of the game, their first attacking set in St. Thomas's half. And they've made this a closer game than what it has seemed so far. He's got a lot of confidence. Kicker took a lot of time there as well, giving his big boys a rest. See so if we can get through a couple of sets here. Footy, no penalties, some discipline. So we know we're all schoolboys, we've been there. Shortish kick, I don't know if it was intentional, but what it has done is given Southern Cross some great attacking field position. Some one out runs is again very powerful. Outside backs have come in for a lot of work. The big boys up the middle there too. Referee. Oh no. There it is. Seen a lot of penalties to start the game. Just discipline lent both teams down. Now Southern Cross. Their second attacking set inside the St. Thomas half. And they've come away with one try. Great kick for the touch. Like to see how they set up. Look like they're really set up out to the right. They're gonna take one and then go. We're just gonna see what we've seen so far today. The big boys just steamroll and go straight over for a try. There's play one, they're looking short side. One of the boys up the middle, one out carry. They're still set for this right side here, but he doesn't want to give up. Oh, just held up. Once again, another one out carry. Is he there? No, not there. Great defense. St. Thomas has been very well defending coming out of the, the area. They're still set up on the right here. As you see, the six, seven, and one all on the right hand side for Southern Cross. Go out the back. Oh, very close. There was numbers there, it looked like. The sevens decided to hold it. Are they going short side again with the six? There they go. Last tackle. Oh, the number nine's gone for a little kick for his winger and it's just gone into touch. Looked like Southern Cross had their right side set up for majority of that set they just couldn't get it out there a couple of early barges from their their outside backs and their big boys up front just wasn't successful we've seen them got get held up but now what they haven't been able to do so far is really muster up in defense and let's try and see them keep st thomas down their own end Bit undecided there from the St. Thomas hooker. Didn't know who to go to. A little bobble, but referee said play on. Quick play the ball too. They're going down the short side. The number nine has been exceptional so far. Really picking his time to run, bringing his boys onto it. A lot of shape there, but once again, we're just going straight through the middle. Great carry. Very hard to put the, oh, he had his number nine to his right. Just couldn't see him. We go to the left with a play. Oh, oh, great rugby league, just dropped by the winger. The number seven really summed that up. Southern Cross looked to jam on the outside backs on the center and the fullback coming out the back. And the winger just couldn't see it, just didn't have it at time. It's a chance gone big in there. That could have taken them to 14-6 up. A real buffer, as we see, there's about five minutes left to go in this first half. <laughs> Southern Cross once again asked to bring it out of their own end. Which they've done so for most of this first half and still only find themselves down four. Discipline's going to be the key factor. St. Thomas has been good in defence so far. Oh, 
Oh, great offload. Almost hill, but no. Great offload. Pass away to the 12. Trying to summon that he's very hard to put down. Goes himself. There was just no support. They couldn't get to him fast enough. Still a couple of plays to work with here in St. Thomas's territory. Looking for the offload. Gets the arm free, but St. Thomas realised that and lock it up straight away. Number nine taken off by himself. We see the last tackle here. Off to the six to sum it up. Nice little cross corner kick. Oh, great take by St. Thomas Winger. And it looks like he has been tackled in the air. So it's an easy let out for St. Thomas boys. Kick for touch. Good set, some great rugby league there from the Southern Cross campus outside back number three, almost held. Basically off offload from the ground. It was, it was an exceptional pass. The number 12 straight through the middle, very, very powerful. Would have liked to find a bit more metres there with that kick, but anything, anything helps in this game. As I said, there's, a, there's ooh, three minutes to go. St. Thomas have the ball. Great carry, first up. Really trying to set the tone like they have for most of this game. Number nine has been crafty out of there so far for St. Thomas. He's really bringing the boys on, really steering them around the park. A lot of their plays as well, being turned under, straight up the middle, really testing out the endurance of the Southern Cross boys. Number nine once again goes for a little, little dart. Eyes up, he's looking short, he's looking left. Oh, no, that's so oh, unlucky. Just as they're about to mount some pressure, one more tackle, last tackle, put it in the corner. Oh, that's a tough ass now, St. Thomas. They've given the ball over to the Southern Cross campus, boys. They'll have one set here, possibly to go 60 metres. But what we've seen so far, some powerful running, and they're definitely up to it. Costly turnover there. First play, they shift off the wide. Number three, once again, you're looking like the danger man when he's got the ball. Very hard to stop. So we see the two props collide. Two sets, we're on, two tackles gone, we're on the 50. The man who made the break before, another strong carry. We're getting down. Closing in on half time, a couple more tackles to go. Obviously, they can't see a scoreboard here, so they don't know how long left. They're shaping up to the left. They've got the numbers. Four on three. Great pass, great pick up. Oh, still not held. We've got a last tackle here. Closing in on a half time. Does he put it up for the corner or does he go repeat set? Kick for himself and St. Thomas recover. Oh, he's called the knock on the referee. Southern Cross have the last chance. St. Thomas have really, to me, owned this first half, but Southern Cross campus had the last chance to score a try here and lead going into half time. We've got two to the left, four on the right. Number three. Been very damaging, and as we oh, as we see once again, they've still got them right here. The number seven calling this, but front row in front of him, the siren's gone. The last play, number ten, does he get over? No, the referee says held up. A little bit of anticlimax there. I thought the Southern Cross campus boys were looking to really steal that lead before half time, but nonetheless, we've seen some great rugby league to start off day one. Sorry, to finish off day one, shall I say?
G'day, Greg Murphy here, Pertec Ambassador. Today I'm talking about safer driving, which is something Pertec and I are extremely passionate about. With over 50 vehicles operating throughout New Zealand, Pertec are committed to keeping their people and all other road users safer through greater driver education and awareness. Pertec mobile service technicians are on the road 24 7, servicing their customers' hose and fittings requirements. And that's from the far north right down to the deep south of New Zealand. Pertec are promoting a safe driving culture throughout their business, and this is something everyone should be thinking about. Train to play. And Sammy Bill does it again. The collisions, the big hits, I love it. My teammates want me by their side, not on the sideline. If I get injured, I can't play. I want to play every game. The game doesn't start with a whistle. It starts with warming up. My body is the tool of my trade, so I look after it. We're going to show you how ATC Sports Smart Warm Up. Let's go. And welcome back to the second half of St. Thomas Canterbury versus Southern Cross Campus Boys. First day of the New Zealand Rugby League Secondary Schools Championship. St. Thomas Canterbury 10, Southern Cross Campus 6. So here's the second half, yet to kick off, there we go. Oh, once again, St. Thomas this whole first half have had Relatively, relatively great field position, and once again they start the second half the same way. Big contact is not a free lack of that. Oh, they've switched it up. A lot of their plays so hard as they go down the short side. Number 18 takes the tackle. A lot of the plays in the first half have come under with the number four. A little bit of deception there. Great rugby league gone out the back, changed the play up. Great field position once again. St. Thomas of Canterbury look for the second phase and they get it. Going to the right. Fullback looking to stay in. Slipper and he fends off one. Goes down the short side, still trying to stay in. And he does a great job not to get dragged out by three Southern Cross campus boys. Six takes that up. Once again, the first try scorer. Looking damaging, looking for a second. Last tackle the referee signaled. 
Looking for a repeat set, surely. They go under. Out the back, they're looking to run it. Looking dangerous. Oh! That's not a bad, not a bad place to finish the set. Would have preferred the, the extra set of attack, but they've really controlled the game like this when they've made Southern Cross come off their own, their own try line. And once again, like we've seen so many sets, St. Thomas looking to muscle up. The outside backs come in for some early work. Been a standout so far, the number 12 from Southern Cross campus. And it was touched and they get six again. Scrum here to Southern Cross, 20 out from their own line. The number 12 for Southern Cross, every time he touches the ball, it's exciting. At least beats the first, the first defender every time. And if it's not second phase, it's a quick play the ball. Look to go left off the scrum. They take it down as they look to set up. The hooker, who's had a lot of running from dummy half, looking left, looking right, picks out his front rower, takes it straight through the middle. Three men there to take him down. Another strong carry through the middle as they set it up. Still early in the tackle count. Powerful. Looking right, looking left again, the hooker. Going to the seven. Looks to go himself. Thought he saw opportunity, was tackled there. It's the main kicker of the game. He's been doing all the kicking of Southern Cross. Puts another one up into the corner. The two wingers attack it again. And we've award, the referees awarded a Southern Cross knock-on, or double knock-on, first off Southern Cross. St. Thomas survived that little onslaught there, the crossfield kick. St. Thomas's turn, who's putting their hand up. Outside backs once again in for some work. Quick play the ball, here they go, they're rolling. Off to the first try scorer. The six takes the four on three, they've got it down the short side. Back to the middle, back to the middle. The six has really parked himself on this right side. Oh, almost went to him again. Decided to go early with the kick. As they do have the lead, they're really trying to keep Southern Cross down their end. Return from the fullback. We saw the little fake to the right, the dummy, and then the goosey. Who doesn't love a goosey? Once again, the, the, the back three, the back five for Southern Cross have been very destroying coming out of their own end. None better than this number three. And then followed up by the back rower who's been powerful. And like I said before, he's not being the first or second. He's getting some second phase play away. We've well, stopped the game. Looks like a little cork or a knee injury. Hope, wishing the play as well. Gives both teams a chance to exhale, have a little breath. Long tournament ahead, as we know, there's only 25 minutes a half and these players have to make the most of all their opportunities they get in each other's territory. Saw the first half riddled with discipline errors. The referee awarding maybe five to six penalties from players really testing him out, but... Southern Cross with the ball. 10-6 down. Setting up really nicely. They just can't find that last pass. They look to go again down the short side. They got the numbers. Lovely offload. Oh, as they go. And it's a... The referees awarded the first knock-on from St. Thomas to Canterbury. They let the ball go there. I thought there was an opportunity to score out wide on the left. I really thought that Southern Cross campus 
look back at hopefully that's not a costly costly mistake not letting the ball go but they do have the ball again on the line they go to right outside back carry again they've been in so many of these hit ups and the number nine looks oh they've gone for a barge over still going Oh, no, as he's tried to reach out, as you can do, you can make the ball f come free if the player's reaching out for a try. And that is what has happened. He's gone for the try, the big number 10, and just cost up the ball. Southern Cross, some real costly mistakes there from both plays where I thought they sh probably should have come away with the try. But they're still on the right side of the field. Can they do, do their defense, do the talking? As it does there, great first hit. They're really rushing up in defense, the number one. There's no one at the back. He's made some two great tackles to start the set. Telling them the big boys is how you do it. But no, the discipline creeps in again. The referee's awarded it for a shoulder charge. Not using the arm. Easy exit once again for St. Thomas. We find touch on halfway. St. Thomas once again with some great attacking field position. First hit with the first try score, straight to the middle. Riff allowing them to stay on a bit longer there. Fair play, was a dominant tackle. And you see the big boys, they don't see that too often in junior football. Little unders play from the two big boys, turning each other over, under. The number nine who's been looking damaging all game goes to the, and they go back inside. One last pass. Still got the ball, Nate. Oh, one are very unlucky. Southern Cross survived that. Some great rugby league, as we saw once again. The number nine has been damaging through the middle. Gets free, quick play the ball, and they go to the left. Number seven really summed it up beautifully. They've been turning it under all day, but this time looks inside, and he had the, one of the one of the runners straight up the guts. Great tackle by the fullback from Southern Cross and. They just couldn't hold on to the ball, St. Thomas. Also apologise for the number calling as we don't have a team list as of yet. Great fast play the ball from Southern Cross Boys at number nine. Out of dummy half. Great field position to start the set. Up to halfway. Tackle two. Look to go left. They've got him again here down the short side. Intercept. Oh. St. Thomas. The wingers read the play very well. Just couldn't come up with a ball in the end. And Southern Cross get another set of six inside St. Thomas's half. Southern Cross had a lot of a lot of joy come down this left left hand side. Um, they're just, that last pass is just hurting them. They can sort that out, they can get some joy down here. Settle through the middle and he hasn't died with the ball too much today in the number 12. And once again he looked for the offload but They've put him down, three in the tackle. Number six decides to take the hit. Sure, you'll get up and get ready for the next play. Number 12, second carry of the set. Number seven with his eyes up, attacks the short side. Once again, goes himself, flick pass. Flow to the number three, who's been damaging all day. Got some shape to the to the left here. They go out the back. The fullback swinging. They got three on two again. 
Oh, tries to offload and Southern Cross campus. A three on one opportunity has gone to ground again. St. Thomas has done a lot of defense to start this half. Don't know how draining this can be to the side. Eight minutes, still no score, still unchanged. And St. Thomas, I just mentioned all the defense they've had to do so far this half. Well, another costly error and they have to go back to doing that on their own try line. Southern Cross on the attack. They've had, like I said, a number of opportunities on the left. There's some three-on-one opportunities. They're shifting it to right, maybe for a set-up play. The number three, been dangerous all game. Goes in and away. Flick pass. Oh, it was forward, I thought. The referee allowed play on. No, he's called a forward pass. He's got it right. I'm glad I was right too. <laughs> St. Thomas, up 10-6. They keep inviting Southern Cross into their end. And they just can't capitalize the Southern Cross boys. A couple of times, three on one opportunities haven't gone to hand. And as we saw there, a forward pass. St. Thomas asked to come out of their own end again. really been a game of two halves. St. Thomas have really dominated that first half and Southern Cross have taken aim up in the second half. The Oranges really counted, I think, but number, as they go, the wingers get in, do some work. Going back to the middle through the big boys. Great tackle. Nice and low. That's how we like to see them. Oh! They've gone to the right side. They've still got them here. Number nine decides to go back to the middle. Is it a knock on? It is. St. Thomas can't complete a set in the second half. And once again, Southern Cross Campus have the ball looking to take the lead. They're matched up four on the open, four on the open, two and two. Number three, is, oh the number two, yes, oh no. Is that a knock on off the scrum? It is. He's looked very dangerous today with ball in hand and that one was just a little too far out in front. He just couldn't get a hold of it. I think St. Thomas counting themselves lucky because easily been breaking the first and second tackles and looking to put his players away, the number three from Southern Cross Campus. St. Thomas breathe a sigh of relief and they've got the ball 40 out from their own try line. Looking to complete a set this second half. Great footwork. Got the players with him. Messiah goes down the short side. Back to the six. Play one. They go and tackle 10 metres out. What brilliant play. The fullback skips to the outside, hits Sire straight through the gap. They're going to the left where the numbers are. Just simple ball movement here. They've got a pass and they score in the corner. St. Thomas Canterbury. That's a big lead with, with 13 minutes to go in this ball game. As we saw off the scrum, the fullback who looks dangerous all game. Has got the ball, told the ball, told his team, stay wide, let me do the work. Put a little goose step on, skip to the outside of his man. Sayal Latini has gone straight through, tough run, straight through the gap. Pass to the number six has been tackled, and the boys then shift it straight away to the left where the numbers were. Great rugby league, good hit back. St. Thomas of Canterbury, they've been been a bit down this second half, but what a way to what a way to reply and really change the momentum of the game and make Southern Campus just a bit ner nervous. Mm -hmm. 
Line up a kick from the sideline. 14-6 to make it 16-6. 10 point lead if he converts this. It looks online. And it is, what a great conversion. 10 points. A 10 point lead for St. Thomas of Canterbury. Like I mentioned, some remarkable rugby league there. Southern Cross will be feeling the pinch now. As we do know, there's only just over 10 minutes to go in this ball game. They do need to score tries. Two tries they need. Looking firstly to get this ball back through some great defense. Not too sure if the clock stops either. They need to sort everything out. The temperature's dropped. Do that much. Got a jacket on now. These boys, though, they'll be feeling the heat. Straight to the big boys. First hit up. They start their set 30 metres out. Not where Southern Cross Campus wanted that kick to go, but what can they do from here in defence? Bumping off tackles. Great carry. 15, 15 metre carry as they get them on the front foot. They go to the short side again where they have numbers. Oh! There was space in front for the winger to do some magic, do some work. I think it was... He just looked up, looking for what he was going to do next before he actually caught the ball. Great vision from the number seven to take his team down the short side. Brilliant cutout pass. But it's not what St. Thomas wanted with 10 minutes to go. They didn't want Southern Cross to get an attacking set right near their line. Or 50 out from their line. Number three we saw Damaging all game. Strong, strong carry. He could be the game breaker for me. Oh no, he went to pass the number six and it's been awarded. As he looked up to the left, there was just no runners. And it just slipped out of his hand. This has been the edge they've been looking to do some work on and he just looked up and there was, there was no support there with him. Just lost control of the ball. The referees ruled forward. St. Thomas of Canterbury will be looking to complete this set, not how they did the last set. Looking to get to a kick here. Really put the pressure on Southern Cross. They start with a carry up the middle. They're going to look to put some more points on or just consolidate the lead and go straight up the middle and find a kick. Looks like they're brewing something up to the left. Got numbers in. 18 has been very hard to stop once again. Brushes off one, two. Tackled around the ankles. Number nine goes for another dart. Gets the offload away. Still a couple of tackles to play with here. The other six. The man who we saw with a break before has coughed it up. Well, they're chewing up time, but not the way they really want to, St. Thomas of Canterbury boys. Southern Cross Campus. Time's ticking. Time is ticking. They need to make something happen. Who do they call on again? Going to their number three, the strike centre. It's been very damaging with the ball. Once again, we see him take another carry off the... And he gets offload away. Creeping up to halfway off the first tackle. Go to another strong carry straight through the middle. The referee says play on. They need to follow this up. They're running out of time. There we go again. Right, four steps, one steps, two. A little high, the referee says play on. 
They've got four and three on the left. Are they taking it or they're going right? This has been the edge they're taking. Turned it under. And they look up again. The six has, six has got his eyes up again. Is he going to take it again? He does himself. Oh, he almost should have let that go, but he's held it. And that's a knock on. I thought there was an opportunity there just to pass. But it's easy for me to say I'm sitting up here watching it from a view. Really? The number six is really cause havoc down that left side. They just It's just that last pass they can't seem to get right, whether it's his outside men up too flat, not there, or he's taking it himself. Look, rugby league is a funny game. We've got six minutes to go. Two tries is needed from the Southern Cross boys. They need to fix something up here in defence. Really change the momentum. Is it going to be a hit? Is it going to be a steal? Is it going to be something? St Thomas haven't completed the last two sets, even though they've started the sets with some very powerful runs. Great contact. The question to be asked, are they going to kick early? Are they going to roll through this set? Is they're going one out to the middle. Doesn't look like they're trying to score. Really trying to get through the middle. The number 10. Great defense again. Going to the short side. A little bit of trickery. A little bit of block play off the, tw off the 21 Alatini. Fullback looks to have done some damage. Gets up all right. Looked to kick to a corner. Doesn't quite get there. Knocked back by Southern Cross Campus. Time to go to work. Just under five minutes to remaining in this game. See them take a short side, try to exploit that. Who's going to come in and do some work? Who's going to change this game? They're taking one out carries here. They're going to need a little bit more. Southern Cross boys, there's a six steps up. That's the one a little off his hip. They look to go again. Oh, no. They just can't seem to get down there and execute. They're really going to look back at this game as the tournament goes on if it is the one to cost them because they've had plenty of opportunities, the Southern Cross boys. St. Thomas have, have been game in defence and it's a very exciting game of footy as we know. 25 minutes each half, so it's not like a long game where you can turn it around. You need to make every moment, every second count in this. St. Thomas looking to put the game away. see to the feet to the scrum 45 meters out from southern cross line full back out the back tries to go around the number three gets away from one but tackled by the the rest of the help a bit of passing not too sure the case should be happy or he wants him just to take it he wants more points Exchange of passing through the front rows have been on point today, turning each other under. Some of them, I dare say, like to have the six on their back. So they go on short side, they go, great play, great line. They look to go again. Looks like it. I mean, up the short side, the six takes it on. Alatini through the hands, a little grubber kick. And it's a try. Great vision. The number six has taken a short side straight to Alatini, who passes to the fullback who's been very nippy today very Matt Bowen like in and out of in and out of defenders there he just sums it up beautifully puts it puts a ball to foot the winger knew what he was doing chases it gets across and now as we have it 20 to 6 with a kick to calm I think we can wrap that game up not too long to go The hoot is gone. The only thing that can change now is it can be 22 to 6. Great first up game that we've had vision of. St. Thomas of Canterbury have flown up here, flown to Auckland as I was told by their coach. Got in this morning 
in Rotorua and uh, really come here to play. Many have said they're the dark horse of the competition and I think they're showing well. I don't know if they are the dark horse. They really stamp their authority in this game. Going for a kick from the sideline. And he's kicked it. Icing on the cake. We wrap up our first game. St. Thomas to Canterbury, 24. Southern Cross Campus, 6.